Hi everyone, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, today I'm coming at you with a, a Chanel shoe collection video as requested um, by several of you. So yes, I'm finally here to do it for you guys. So um, let me go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and try to show you the shoe that I purchased, um, you know, in, in order of, you know, when I purchased it. But don't expect me to remember when I purchased it because, um, you know, I have mommy brains. So here is the first shoe. This is um, a pair of uh, ballet flats. And these are the only ballet flats that I do own from Chanel. So here's the information. I did purchase these um, from Saks. And I did try several um, sizes on. Um, uh, my uh, shoe size is normally... Um, U.S. size is from between a 9 to a 10, and I had to get these in 41 and a half, and I believe this uh, is an 11 and a half U.S., so that's quite a jump, but these are the ballet flats, and these are the size that fit me, so um, let me go ahead and show you. I don't normally keep them on in the belt boxes, but I did put some of them back. Um, these ballet shoes I do use a lot, so you'll see the condition of them in just a minute. And I've had them for a year. They did come with two dust bags. I don't have the receipts to these here with me. So, But if I can find the information, I'll just put it in the description box below. And I did show you guys these few numbers. But here they are. This is the way they look. These, I believe, are... It doesn't say if they're lambskin or not. I don't remember if they're lambskin or just, I don't know. It does feel like it is super soft, but it's like kind of like a washed lambskin. And I love these. I do want to get another pair of them. But as you can see, it has a traditional burgundy interior and the uh, CCs here in the toe cap, the bow, and the quilting all around. These shoes are extremely comfortable. Um, I haven't had any issues with them. They're in great condition all around as you can see um, except for you know the the uh, the bottom part of it so as you can see they're pretty roughed up um, but I know that you can get them refinished and you know they'll look like me with the bottom so um, I will wait to do that but I do love these shoes and they are very very comfortable so yeah, that is these. That's the very first pair of Chanel shoes that I purchased, I think. I could be wrong. Probably am wrong. Unless it wasn't these. Unless I, I purchased these second. See, I told you I have brain farts galore. So, that is probably, I think maybe that's my second pair. I think my first pair, anyway, I'll just show you. Um, I'm not even going to bother with that. Those are the only ballet shoes that I do have, or dress shoes or flats from Chanel. The rest of these are espadrilles. So um, I'll go ahead and show you the first pair of espadrilles that I did um, order. And um, here is the information there. These are a size 41, which is an 11 US. And um, these are... I don't know if I would say true to size. I could be mistaken about the sizing, but um, I don't know. Like I said, I told you my U.S. shoe size, and this is these are 41s. So I think that translates. I don't know if it translates to 11 because that would be pretty big. I mean, you're jumping up pretty big. Um, I don't know, but it. I think it is that way. But they're, they're, the shoes are made differently. They're made a lot smaller than, you know, the your average, you know, U.S. shoes or, you know, American-made shoes. Um, I don't know. I could be wrong, but um, there's the information there. These are the black lambskin espadrilles, and I love them. I did purchase these from Neiman Marcus, and I just ordered um, ordered them on the phone over the phone. So the the Houston Galleria, the Neiman Marcus one there, and these were $5.95 when I purchased these, which is really weird because now they are much more expensive for um, lambskin espadrilles. There's the little care card. 
Here are the dust bags. I did get two dust bags. And then I will show you these. Here are my um, lambskin espadrilles in black. They are so, so soft. And I have worn these uh, quite a bit. Um, the bottoms still look brand new. And everything still looks great. Great condition. They are just so, so soft. If you don't own these, you should try to get your hands on them. And I know they are hard to get. But, you know, they, they, they're constantly getting shipments. And so, you know... If you put your name down, you know, and you have, and there's a certain sales associate that you usually shop with, um, you know, she can put your name down and anytime they get a pair of shoes then they'll call you. So these are my beautiful CC uh, lambskin in black. And these, like I said, these are size 11, so, or a 41, I keep saying 11, but they're a 41. And these are quite, quite comfortable. So, um, as far as I know, the uh, leather or the lambskin espadrilles um, usually run true to size. Um, they do stretch out a little bit. So if they fit a little bit snug, I know people have complained or upset, mentioned that they fit a little snug around here. They do stretch out. And I, you know, after wearing them for a couple of days, they, um, you know, that starts being. A nuisance you know because it's not it's not like a painful feeling it's not like you know you're gonna get a blister or something it's just if it's a little bit tight but then like after a couple wears it, it just you know starts to stretch out a little bit and it fits really like a glove if it's comfortable so um, I love them and that's why I purchased several so I need to just stop while I'm ahead so that was the first pair of Chanel espadrilles that I did purchase the second pair I did sell and they were the beige and black uh, linen espadrilles and they were not like I said they were not they were the linen material they were not the um, so they were the fabric material they were not the uh, lambskin ones I did end up selling those those I did order in a size 42 because they they run smaller than the lambskin ones um, I never wore them and because I did want the lambskin version of them. So I ended up selling them. And the person that purchased them from me has been enjoying them. So I'm glad for that. So the next pair that I purchased were these. And these are called, um, they're blue and black. So blue and, and noir. And these are um, the linen material. They're not lambskin. They're not leather. And um, so yeah, these are in the size 41. Um, I should have gotten a 42 as I mentioned they do run smaller than the lambskin ones But they didn't have them. This was the last pair that my sales associate had in the boutique And I just snagged them up and honestly they fit a little bit snug, but They I've noticed that that little by little they do stretch out a tiny bit um, The left shoe doesn't fit snug like the right one. So, you know, I think everyone has one foot is uh, a little bit slightly bigger, maybe a little bit more uh, swollen than, than the left foot. So that's what I've noticed. But I still love these and I will not get rid of them. I love the color. So I will show you. The receipt is in here. Um, I think these were, yeah, these were $5.25. So um, I will try to, if I remember, leave the, all the information of all the shoes that I showed you in the description box. And for some reason, these did not come with um, dust bags, and I forgot to let my essay know that. And um, But I'm sure if I call her, she can always send me some. So here they are. These are gorgeous, gorgeous shoes. These are the denim. They're like a dark denim with the black uh, toe cap. And as I mentioned, they are in the fabric material, the linen material. These are so cute. They look so cute with jeans or um, a denim a button down shirt with white, um, you know, boyfriend jeans or white capris, that, you know, they go all the way down to your, you know, above your ankles or on your ankles. And these, but these just look, look so cute for summer. And I did wear these with white um, jeans and a denim shirt and they looked absolutely, the whole, it brought the whole outfit together. So I love these. These were from 2014. So, um, 
I don't think they sell them anymore. As you can see, it's just a wider CC here. And these are gorgeous. I absolutely love these. And like I said, but they are lined with leather. Here's a softer suede leather. And then here's the rest of it with the leather. So I have noticed that they do stretch out a little bit. And it's pretty much getting to the point to where, you know, they fit more comfortably. And I have only worn these once. I mean, twice. So that is the reason why they're still just a tiny bit snug, um, especially on the right foot. So yeah, that was my um, third pair of espadrilles, and I already mentioned the size on that one. So next are the two recent purchases that you've seen. So here is the box, here is the information. These are the espadrilles in lambskin, and they are white and black, um, size 41, and these were $6.75. And um, as I mentioned, you know, uh, the lambskin one's a little bit more true to size and they're a little bit more forgiving because they do stretch out a little bit. There's the care booklet, the dust bag, then, and I call these, I really don't think they're too white. I think they're more of a, like an ivory color and I have yet to wear these. These are gorgeous, of course, you know, with the lighting, there they are. They're gorgeous, kind of like ivory and black toe cap, um, lambskin espadrilles. These things are a beauty. I love them. They're gorgeous and I can't wait to wear them. Of course, now that it is spring and summer and I will just be loving these. Again, wear them with anything pretty much and anything goes with these shoes. So like I said, they are a size 41. And these I believe are still available. Um, a lot of people have been getting them. So I think if you, like I said, if you call your essay, you will be able to score you some. Um, if not right away, then you know, uh, you could be put on a waiting list and uh, you get yourself a pair. I think they're a great um, choice. I think they're not bad for the price. I know they're a little bit expensive, but they're very, um, a solid pair of shoes. They're, you know, I don't, they're, they're not going to wear out. I mean, especially on me, I'm hard on my shoes and you know, the ones that I have been wearing, especially the black lambskin ones, they have, um, lasted quite a bit and I've had them for a year and they, they still look great. They're still like brand new, especially like the ballerina flats. Um, those are still brand new and I've had them for over a year and, um, I wear them a lot and the only thing that's a little roughed up is the bottom of the shoe which you can get refinished. So yeah, these are the last pair. Here's the information size 41 again and these for some reason are 725. I don't understand why the price keeps going up. The last ones I showed you um, were the ones that I just purchased which were 675 and then the first the black lambskin those were 595 so yeah, that's pretty expensive. Um, these are about the same price as the ballet flats and the ballet flats are pretty expensive. And these are kind of like in the same, same price category. So I don't know. Here's the <clears throat> care booklet, the dust bag. Then I will just quickly show you these. These are a beautiful color beautiful beige as you can see here it's showing up a little lighter on camera than it truly is um, I don't know if maybe you can see it here but with the Sun the Sun is now blurring in but these are a beautiful color of a beige and um, with the black lambskin toe cap so they are all lambskin leather these are another gorgeous pair of lambskins, which I absolutely, absolutely love. Um, to me, they're, they're just a beautiful pair, as you can see. You can see the CCs and the black toe cap. Gorgeous. So yeah, that is it. That is pretty much my um, whole shoe collection um, from Chanel. And I do want to add to it maybe a few more of the ballet flats. I was tempted to even purchase some sandals, but I don't know yet because I haven't been able to get find my size. 
But as far as espadrilles, I think I am done for now, unless they come out with another color that I fall in love with, which is, I'm sure will be the case. But for now, I say that I am done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Bye for now.